ships flying in the sky? The airway on the Wujiang River, China's infrastructure has created six more world's best. On November 17, 2023, 14 cargo ships sailed onto the viaduct of Wujiang River in China. Each of them carries 6,800 tons of cargo. They take water elevators hundreds of meters high one after another, pass in an orderly manner on the waterway, and merge into the downstream. The whole scene is like water flowing to higher places and boats moving in the sky, which is very magnificent. This is the navigation site of the Gupitan Hydropower Station in the Wujiang River Basin, and it is also another miracle of China's hydropower infrastructure. It started construction in 2003 and took 18 years to reach navigation. What kind of unbelievable project is it? In this video, let us learn more about it. Gupitan Hydropower Station is a key project of China's national 10th five-year plan and one of the landmark projects of Guizhou's west-to-east power transmission. It is located on the Wujiang River in Yuqing County, Guizhou Province. The dam site has an average flow rate of 717 cubic meters per second for many years and has very rich hydraulic resources. Its controlled basin area is 43,250 square kilometers, accounting for 49% of the entire basin. The water elevated we saw is part of the route leading to Gupitan. It is actually a large-scale project with a total length of 2,306 meters, consisting of a three-level vertical lift and two-level intermediate channels. The height span is 206 meters, but it can be solved by taking the water elevator, which actually provides a safe navigation route for ships. Without this route, cargo ships had to resign themselves to fate in the water if they wanted to pass through here, especially during the Wujiang River flood season from May to October every year. If it is transported from upstream to downstream, the strong current will push the ship downward, making it difficult for people to control the navigation of the ship. An accident may result in hitting a rock and causing an accident. If it is transported from downstream to upstream, the water flow will become a serious resistance and the daily traveling speed may be more than 10 kilometers at most, or only a few kilometers at least. If you encounter a dangerous shoal with a large terrain difference, it will take a lot of manpower to implement it manually, which is time-consuming and dangerous. The Wujiang River is the largest tributary on the south bank of the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, running through central and northeastern Guizhou, and finally merges into the Yangtze River. It is an important shipping artery connecting Guizhou and central China, and is known as the Golden Waterway. In order to reduce risks, Wujiang faces suspension of sailings every year, ranging from at least one month to as many as a quarter in a year. While accidents occur frequently, the economic benefits have not improved for a long time. Improving the shipping in Wujiang River has become an urgent issue. Fortunately, the large terrain difference also means that it has abundant water energy reserves. Therefore, in the 1960s, China planned to build 11 hydropower stations in the Wujiang Basin. These 11 hydropower stations will be arranged in a cascade surrounding the Wujiang River like a string of pearls. In addition to generating electricity, it can also be used to alleviate the height difference problem in shipping. Gupitan Hydropower Station is the fifth of them. After geological survey, the site of Gupitan Hydropower Station was selected in Yuqing County, Guizhou Province. The river valley here is narrow and the water flow rate is high, making it a good place for building a reservoir and hydropower station. 
but things are not that simple because the slopes around the valley are very steep. According to data, the slopes on both sides of Yuching County can reach 55 degrees to 65 degrees, and some are even close to vertical. Viewed from a distance, the entire river valley presents a narrow V shape, which poses a great challenge to engineering construction. The topography is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, which means that the further down you go, the greater the water pressure the dam has to withstand. If the foundation is not stable enough, the entire project will collapse before the upper part breaks, and the entire Wujiang River Basin will be affected. After careful consideration, engineers chose the double arch structure to deal with it. A double arch is a thin yet strong architectural structure. Its arch can convert part of the river water pressure into horizontal thrust and transfer it to the mountains on both sides, thereby reducing the pressure on the dam. At the same time, due to the overall arch shape, it also greatly reduces the use of concrete materials, taking into account the multiple advantages of less material and solidity. In addition, double arch is a special construction method that changes the arc radius, and its counterpart is single arch. The radius of a single arch structure will not change. The shorter the arc, the smaller the curvature of the arc, and the compression resistance will also be weakened. The compression resistance can only be enhanced by adding building materials. However, the double arch can reduce the radius of the dam arc to make the arc of the dam bottom larger, which in disguise enhances the pressure resistance and can handle the strongest water pressure. Many solid famous dams in history adopted the double arch structure. Although the double arch structure has many advantages, it is particularly demanding in site selection. Because both sides of the Taiwan Strait have to bear part of the pressure on their behalf, the mountain cannot be easily soluble geology. The granite mountains on both sides here provide rare geological conditions. In addition, after review by China's National Seismological Administration, seismic activity here and in surrounding areas is very weak. There is also clay rock below as an anti-seepage support layer, and the reservoir has excellent sealing conditions. After the site selection and design plan were determined, the Gupatan Hydropower Project officially started on November 8, 2003. It took eight years and was officially completed in 2011. In 2012, the Gupatan Navigation Project also started construction, which took about 10 years and will be officially put into trial operation in June 2023. After the dam is completed, the total storage capacity will reach 6.454 billion cubic meters, making it the largest hydropower station built in Guizhou province. However, the biggest feature of Gupatan Hydropower Station is not its large flow, but the navigation project next to it. As we mentioned at the beginning, the waterway is built at an altitude of 100 meters, and the ships driving on it are like flying in the air, which is very spectacular. Viewed from the air, the Gupatan Dam has a beautiful engineering arc. It opened its arms and intercepted the rushing Wujiang water in its arms. The water transport channels suspended in the air traverse the mountains and ridges, showing human wisdom and overcoming the adverse natural conditions over the years. This project has created six world records, and the industry calls it the Ship Lift Museum. Foreign countries are also full of praise for another miracle of China's infrastructure construction. It is the building with the highest navigation head in the world, reaching a maximum of 199 meters. It is also the navigation building with the largest water level change in the world, with the upstream water level changing by 40 meters. 
At the same time, the second stage ship lift set a world record for single stage lifting height, reaching 127 meters. The first and third stage ship lifts are the largest and most powerful launching ship lifts in the world, reaching a 500 ton capacity. It also has the world's largest navigable aqueduct, with a water depth of 3 meters between the three stage ship lifts and a maximum pier height of over 100 meters. There is also a first of its kind achievement in China. This is the first design plan for a navigation tunnel through a mountain. Not only that, all the generating units of the Gupatan hydropower station are designed and manufactured in China. The vertical height of each unit can reach 25 stories high, with more than 100,000 electrical accessories and a weight of 4,000 tons. The total installed capacity reaches 3 million kilowatts, exceeding the Gezhuba hydropower station on the Yangtze River. In the past, China could not accomplish this independently and could only rely on foreign imports. In addition, Gupatan Hydropower Station is also the largest hydropower station built by China Huadian Corporation and Wujiang Company. The average annual flow rate is 717 cubic meters per second, and the average annual power generation reaches 9.667 billion kilowatt hours. It provides sufficient electricity for Guizhou province and greatly boosts Guizhou's economy. It is also a landmark project of transmitting electricity from west to east, which has greatly improved the economy and society of China's southeastern coast. What is the important weapon of a great country? The Gupatan hydropower project rising from the ground is the best embodiment of this. It is not only the pride of China's hydropower history, but has also become China's infrastructure and industrial business card, winning international acclaim. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.